In this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about connecting USB drives to your iPhone or your iPad. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live today. Now, if like me, you've got a lot of files on your iPhone or your iPad and you want to learn how to transfer them between USB flash drives, card readers, hard drives, and any other USB drives, this is the video for you. I'm gonna take you through all of the different things you need to know before you can start transferring files. Let's jump in and get started. Down in the description, you'll find a handy link to all of the information that I present in this video, as well as links to the other videos and products that I mention in this one. Let's start by talking supported devices. Now you'll need an iPhone or an iPad that can run iOS 13. So for your iPhone, that is going to be the iPhone 6S or above. For your iPad, it's the iPad Air 2 or above, an iPod Touch 6th generation, any iPad Pro, and an iPad Mini 4 or above. And that's gonna let you run iOS 13 and and use the USB file integration. And again, there are more videos linked down in the description with more information on this. Now, if you are using a device that doesn't support iOS 13, all is not lost. There are devices like the SanDisk iExpand, the Wi-Fi drive, the RavPower file hub, and even apps that allow you to transfer over Wi-Fi. So there'll be more links down in the description to videos that can help you if you are on an earlier device. To connect your USB drives to your iPhone or iPad, you will need a Lightning to USB adapter. Now, I recommend this one, the Lightning to USB 3 adapter, because it has not only a USB port, but an extra Lightning port there, so you can power up while you're connecting your USB drives. And that's important because many of our drives require additional power. So you will need to plug in to a portable battery or an AC power supply to use your USB drives. And once again, there are links down in the description to where you can check out the Lightning to USB 3 adapter. Let's talk about which drives are supported and which formats of drives are supported. So pretty much any USB flash drive, any card reader, any hard drive is going to work. However, you do need to make sure that the format of that drive is supported. So any of our Mac formats such as HFS Plus or APFS will work. And on the Windows side, you do need to have it formatted as FAT. So either FAT32 or XFAT. NTFS, the proprietary Windows format will not work. If you have a drive that is formatted with NTFS, you will need to reformat it as an XFAT. And there's a video linked down below that's gonna show you exactly how to do that. Now we touched briefly on power. And once again, the reason that I recommend this, the Lightning to USB 3 adapter, is that you do need to provide additional power, especially to USB hard drives, but also to a lot of your USB flash drives and card readers. So this means you can plug into a portable battery or to an AC adapter. Now I know that makes it not ideal for portability, but unfortunately at this point in time, they do require additional power a lot of the time. The other thing you can do is use a powered USB hub to power up and to connect not only USB drives, but a bunch of other USB devices. So again, there are links down in the description to where you can check out other videos all about that. And included down there is a link to this one. This is my preferred USB hub at the moment, the 10 DAC powered USB hub. Four ports, provides great power and connection for your USB devices in iOS. A few quick tips before we finish off to help you get successful file transfers. Now, larger files are gonna take a longer time, especially if you're using a USB 2 flash drive. So USB 3 is gonna be much quicker. We don't actually have a progress bar when you're transferring between a USB drive and your iPhone or iPad. So that can make it quite challenging to actually transfer. And one final tip is I often use zip files. So zip up your files using the compression option here in iOS 13, and that means you're transferring one file instead of a number of files that can really speed up and simplify your transfer process. And once again, if you are transferring a large number of very large files, there are other options such as using Wi-Fi Drive, which is included in many iOS apps. And yes, there's a link to that one down there and up the top if you wanna check that out. So let's quickly recap before we finish up here. To transfer files using a USB drive, you will need an iPhone or iPad running iOS 13. You'll also need a Lightning to USB adapter. I recommend the Lightning to USB 3 adapter because you have the Lightning port and can power up your device as well as the drive, which is often required. And don't forget, your drive must be in one of those Mac standard formats or an FAT format to be compatible with iOS. There are two more videos linked here and here if you want to see USB file transfer in action using an iPhone and an iPad. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.